It wasn't just the crown jewel of the Chesapeake that we owe to William Donald Schaefer. It was also the small things, the potholes, the trash that was cleaned up, and of course the neighborhoods. He wanted to get people living in Baltimore again by selling homes for a buck. And with that, we got the birth of thriving neighborhoods. Linda So joins us with more. Linda. Well, Megan, take a quick walk near the harbor and you can see all those homes. You can actually thank Schaefer for rebuilding some of those communities. He took unlivable, abandoned neighborhoods and transformed them into something new. The Otterbein community is one of them. The neighborhood is tucked in the south side of Baltimore, just blocks from the harbor. When Schaefer was mayor in the mid 70s, he told people that you could buy a vacant home in that area for a dollar as long as you spent money to renovate the Donald house. Donald Schaefer it made it just possible what was for me needed to, to revitalize downtown. that area. Since then, retirement. neighborhoods have been built and around Otterbein, and some of the homeowners who took up that offer are still there. That our inner city has to offer. But you always knew that in his heart, he really cared about Baltimore and every last one of us in it. Eleanor Carey was the deputy attorney general when Schaefer was mayor. She says he enjoyed his role as mayor more than governor and comptroller because he could get things done quickly, like rebuilding Otterbein. In the